Hey everyone, I am going to paint some flowers today on this small 6x6 six six inch canvas and I'm going to use a somewhat limited color palette. I got some new paints today that I'm trying out. And I'm going to try to mix a lot of my own colors instead of using 12 different colors out of the tube like I usually do. I'm just sketching a quick composition onto my canvas using a pastel. I think that might be it for my leaves. I'm gonna have some stems in my vase. And for my flowers, um, I'll do one in the middle and then some going over the edge. Because this is um, a canvas with a one and a half inch profile, I am going to paint my flowers right over the top and sides. Definitely one here, and then I might have a small one kind of coming down the side here. We'll see. Okay, I'll list the paint colors that I'm using below the video. I'm using a turquoise, a yellow, medium yellow, and a red. And then I have white and black also. I'm going to start off by adding um, a little bit of yellow into my turquoise to make like a darker green color. And I'm going to fill in my leaves. Not all the way because I want them to be uh, somewhat two-toned. I'm going to carry my paint over like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in between the flowers to add some shadows and depth. I'm going to have some looser stems in my vase. Okay, and then I'm going to take some yellow and mix a lighter green with the same turquoise. I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. Now I have sort of an avocado-y color, bright avocado and a minty color. I'm 
Add a little of this between the flowers as well. And on a couple of my flowers, I, am um, sorry, leaves, I'm going to add a little bit of this color here. I'm going to darken up that turquoise by putting a second coat on in some of the areas. And I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to clean off this brush and I'm going to start to block in my flowers. I added a couple of drops of white to my palette and I'm going to mix some pink and peach to start off. It's a little darker than I wanted, but it's okay. And I want to be sure to go all the way around my canvas. I'm gonna have a couple of my flowers be red and pink. I'm gonna see if I can mix a nice turquoise, not turquoise, a nice purple with my turquoise and red. We'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna grab a little yellow and make this a peach color. I'll lighten it up with a little white. Wet my brush. I'm going to need to go over this one several times once it's dry because that green and turquoise is going to be not difficult to cover, but it's going to need a few layers to cover it. And this is going to be a little bit of an experiment here, but let's see what we can do with turquoise, red, and maybe a little white. A 
that's pretty, but it's darker than I want. Mm, I like that. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. That's a good start. I feel like I might need a little something over here. definitely going to make adjustments to the color of the um, orange and peach, but so far I'm happy with um, the composition. Now I am going to mix, um, I'm going to mix a color for the, the negative space. I'm just going to throw a little bit of this on because I know it's going to dry and I want to use it. For the negative space, I'm going to mix, um, I think, a blue-gray color. Okay, I'll clean that brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of this black, a tiny bit, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of turquoise and some white. I'm gonna to try to just take a little dot of each. It's a little darker than I wanted. So I'm gonna grab some more white this is a pretty color though. I think I'm going to add it to my vase. I'm going to add a little in between some of the flowers also. And a little bit in the leaves. Okay, now I'm gonna grab more white. That's really light. It's okay for our first coat. I'm filling in the negative space right now. And I'm going to paint uh, the sides this color as well.
grab a brush that's a little bit bigger so that I can add, um, so I can fill in my sides here. It's really a pale blue right now, hopefully you can see that. Depending on how this painting evolves, I might darken it up a tiny bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more white so that I have enough for the bottom. I like to paint the bottom even though it's likely nobody will see it, but it doesn't feel finished to me unless all four sides are painted. Okay, so I'm not going to pick it up again for a few minutes. I'll just work on the top. Now that my leaves and flowers should mostly be dry, they are going to be ready for a second layer of paint. Okay, back to the flowers. Okay, so I cleaned my brushes and now I'm going to go back to my flowers a little bit. I've got my red. Some more yellow. White. And maybe that turquoise down here is still good. All right, so first I'm going for peach. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do that right up here where I already have some mixed. It dried a little, but there's enough still to make peach. And And I'm just making some swirly marks on my orange flowers. And I can make some darker orange here. And I'm going to throw some more red in that. And 
I'm just trying to make some different marks inside the flowers to give it some detail. This is a small canvas, so I want to make it uh, interesting, even though it's little. on really thin on the side so it dried pretty quick. I'm going to go back and do another coat at the end. I like that dark red with the turquoise. I like that a lot. too much I think. Okay, I'm gonna leave those for now and let them dry. Um, I like the simplicity of this one. I don't know about this one yet, but sometimes it looks different when it, it dries a little. Um, so I'm going to go back now and mix some of that purple. needs a little something. I think that needs maybe, I don't know, some white, very light. and a tiny bit of blue, turquoise. 
Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, cute. I do want to try to mix some darker again. I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to get a new brush just so none of that white gets in there. There we go. I like that a lot. leave those for now and um, go back to these here. I'm gonna go over the orange again. Just a little. And I think I'm just gonna do it like this. Yeah. I think it just needed to be darkened up a little. And also, I feel like I need some more blue, like a little bit darker blue. did not mean to put that little swirl in there, but I like it a lot, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, I'm gonna let the flowers rest for a bit and I'm gonna go back and work on my leaves and vase. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to mixing. Um, I have, I'm just gonna use my turquoise and yellow and white. I'm gonna go over 
the minty areas. Maybe make a couple of new lines. I'll have a very faint little water line in the vase. Now I'm uh, going to work on shaping my leaves a little bit more. I think I want this one to be a little bigger. I'm also going to work on um, just trying to get everything to match up a little better on the sides. I'm going to add some details to my vase as I'm going along. Put a little black in there just to give this a little separation between the leaf and the vase. I'll leave that for right now. That 
needs to go over just a tiny bit. There, that leaf was bothering me a little. I don't know why. It didn't look right. I like that better. And I want to start wrapping this up. Let's see. I think I'm happy overall. I don't know whether I'm deciding right now if I need to, well, I definitely need to touch up the negative space, but I'm wondering if it needs to have a little more blue. I'm gonna get a fresh brush and then I'm just gonna wrap this up. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stick to the same blue as close as possible. With just a hint of turquoise. That's pretty. I'm going to do the sides first. And I'm going to be more careful this second time around. You could always do your negative space on the sides first so that you have the first layer already down and then you might need to just go in and touch it up which probably would have made my life easier but this is fine as long as you're careful And then I'm just gonna grab a smaller brush and just do a little bit of the details. Go over them one more time, just so they match the, um, the same color that I have on the side.
reshaping that a little. I probably shouldn't have touched it, but it's too late. I'm calling this one finished. I hope you enjoyed my painting demo today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I post a new painting. You can also find me on Instagram and Pinterest at lbuyersart. Thanks for watching.